I praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to wait till some of you get up on here. Praise God. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. I'm actually redoing what I did um, last night. And the reason why I did that is because you said, you people said it was so, you know, what you, you got to know. You got to understand by now. You know why they chop up my stuff. Don't I like you don't know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going to reiterate because it was very important. When it's a Rima word like that, I have to redo it because I want to make sure that you guys get it. All right, so let me go ahead and start. First of all, I'm going to start with God, what God was saying. Death is not supposed to be bad. Emotions get involved and everything, and you think death is bad. But God said, you should rejoice because now, you know, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, period, in the story. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And, and they say that you should rejoice when they go home. Come on, somebody. And when they die, when our baby is born, that's when we should cry. So let me go ahead and walk this thing out, what God was saying. There are so many people mourning right here in the United States, all over the world. There are so many people that are getting killed violently. Let me tell you, they just didn't die in vain. You have to start asking yourself. And the twist is, they shouldn't have messed with me because God gave me another revelation tonight. So they, so whenever they mess with these lives, I need y'all to know he gives me a deeper revelation. I'm not kidding. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me walk this thing out. There are such things as martyrs. I'm going to walk this thing out. This young man that just got killed, that's a martyr. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all acting crazy. That's a martyr. We are supposed to be praying like never before. Come on, somebody. And I'm not trying to go cultural, but this is a cultural thing. So don't get it twisted. We've had four years, 400 years of it. You don't know how to act by now? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be praying. Keep your integrity. Keep your honor. Keep your head, God says. I'm telling you what God says. Have you forgotten? You get God's attention. By not being angry, but by praying, God says. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So, let me walk this thing out. People are getting killed in this hour like never before. Very tragically. And that's because it's the spirit of anger and it's the spirit of rage and it's emotions. You have forgotten how to communicate, said the Lord. So, when you get mad, you want to kill somebody. You want to tell somebody a piece of your mind. You want to act crazy. That's what's happening. And it's the church's fault because we have not taught. We dropped the ball, church. We dropped the ball, church. We dropped the ball, church. Because guess what? The way they acting like that, that's the way y'all acting inside of the church. Acting all unruly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't know how to talk to nobody. Don't know how to speak to nobody. Don't know how to pray for nobody. Don't know how to labor for nobody. Oh, I'm going in tonight. Hallelujah. We got to go back to the basics. What's the basics? God, you see this? God fixed this. God, we need you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mothers, I want to tell you something. I want y'all to stop saying they stole your son. They stole your daughter. They couldn't do anything except the Lord allowed it. They don't have that kind of power. What am I saying? We giving the devil too much power. He ain't got no power. God is allowing stuff in this hour. Read your Bible. We in Revelation all day long. God say in the last days. And we're here in the last days. And I know it don't feel right. I know it don't feel good. Come on, somebody, let me walk this thing out. But they're with the Lord. So there is no way that you should be in deep grief. Some of you are in too much grief. That spirits of oppression, suppression, depression, said the Lord. And guess what? That's tormenting spirits. Anything that keeps reminding you is torment because God don't do it that way. Hallelujah. God gives you a peace that surpasses all understanding. And I know what I'm talking about. I've lost some people too, violently. God will give you peace. God, I don't understand it. God, I don't like it. God, this don't feel right. God, this wasn't right. It's not right when somebody get killed violently. I don't care who you are. Come on, somebody. But let's talk about it real for real, church. How many people do you do lose when something happened? Because the murderer got to pay. Their family got to suffer because, trust me, you know everybody going to look at them like, oh, wow, they, 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 they family. <sighs> Am I talking to somebody up in here? God said we got to return back to corporate prayer. Stop running your mouths on Facebook. Stop acting all unruly and go back to prayer. Go back to fasting. That's what moves God. That's what moves the enemy out your way. Hallelujah. I told y'all five, six, seven years ago. I said some things going to happen. It's going to get a little. It's going to get a little. It's gonna, and now it's here. 
Y'all acting like y'all don't know what's going on? Ask yourself, why is God permitting these deaths? Why why did God permit, see, I don't like to say the whole thing because, you know, I'm not giving it that much power, but what just happened, the pandemic? Why is God allowing it? Have you asked yourselves? Because I have. And I'm going to tell you what God said. God said, y'all all have sinned against me. Y'all have forgotten your God, but I know how to make you remember, said God. He said, I know how to make you remember. I'll bring it on you. I'll let it happen. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And he is in this hour. Think about it. And God said he used that death to get your attention. Oh, I'm about to walk this thing out. Whenever there's a violent death in your family or any death in your family, God is not just is not just a person. God is calling attention to every last one of you. Uh, uh, I got your attention now because I took what you love. I took who you love. I took them, not them. I just let them do it, but I'm the one allowed it. That's what God is saying. Hallelujah. So now God is saying, I got your attention. Because I, I, I want you, don't let this be in vain. Don't let that death be in vain. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all getting angry, burning up stuff? It don't cut it. All you do is show your ignorance. And I'm sorry, I'm going to talk it, I'm going to walk it, hallelujah. That's not God. That's not God. And I, I know it hurts. Because honestly, and for those that are listening, and for those that will listen that are Caucasian or any other dimension or any other um, nation, I'm sorry. I don't want you to take this personally, but this, this is personal to me because this is our culture that is getting attacked. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I've been telling y'all since Trayvon Martin, and I hope that you listen to me now. Those are hits. Let me walk this thing a little bit more. I tell you, God gave me a deeper revelation. They should have kept the old one because this one going to be more powerful. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all remember I told y'all when I was in college, I worked for the FBI. That stuff is real. I didn't lie about nothing. Glencoe, Georgia. We train FBI agents. I'm going to tell y'all something. A regular cop is scared to lose, use their gun just like you. Just like you scared, don't, don't lie. You scared. Because especially if you have never fired a, a firearm. Those are professional hits. Now the CIA, FBI, they train killers straight up. They, oh, they'll do you that. Just like y'all been seeing. Y'all really think that's just a plain cop? Y'all crazy. Plain cops will tell you after they shoot their gun, their hand be so nervous. They're not used to shooting their gun. Whenever you see things like that, that's these people that are used to it. Those are trained killers. I've been telling y'all, black men, you are on a target list. And what it is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk this thing out. I'm, I'm, I'm chopping it up, y'all. I got to chop it up the way God said to do it. When martial law come and new world order, they want black men to be so afraid that you just, as a matter of fact, when a police car get behind you, they want to induce fear. And hold on, don't get it twisted because now this will throw you off because y'all just thinking it's just black men, but they are targeting all y'all men. Because when New, Mar when New World Order and martial law come, they want y'all to be so paralyzed with fear that you don't fight back. Oh, come on, somebody, y'all think it's a game up in here? These people are not playing. They are systematically doing what they do. And God told me to tell you that they didn't die in vain. They are martyrs. Oh, come on, somebody. Read your Bible. There have been martyrs since the beginning, and there's going to be martyrs in the end. I know you don't like me up in here tonight, and that's okay. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God said, I use their tragic deaths to get y'all attention. Will you pray to me more now? Will you fast more now? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's what it is. Some of you have so much anguish, God says. Some of you have so much hatred and anger. God took my husband. God took my wife. God took my child. Are you serious? Because God told me to tell you they were his first. Hallelujah. We're just in a boring mode. What is a boring mode? We have borrowed time. Everybody has to go. We may not like how each other go, but we got to go. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God say, I want you to, to shift to another dimension. I want you to renew your mind. That's what we're supposed to do. When all hell break loose as it is, and we'll continue, because if you think this is it, it's going to get worse. You know what we're supposed to do? Fast like never before. Pray like never before. Unify like never before. And that's all different nations. That's all different colors. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because I'm about to go in tonight. Caucasians, I know you sitting back and you know that this ain't right. Yeah. 
Stevie Wonder could see what's going on. All y'all other nations can see what's going on, that black people are a target. Don't act like y'all don't see it. So we need your prayers too. Because today, you know how they say it, today me, tomorrow you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. These people, uh, trust me, it's going to be genocide. When new world order come, martial law, all colors. If you don't have that kind of money and bloodline, you are a target. Right now, it's us today. Tomorrow is you. I'm just being real with you up in here. But God, the reason why God wanted me to give this message, and this is a rumor word. He said, tell my people, as it was before, it should be again. So let me encourage you now. I know we don't remember the apostles, but we read about the apostles. When Jesus left the apostles, and they start killing them one by one. You don't think their heart got a little afraid? But you know what they did? They, they strengthened themselves in the Lord and said, guess what? This is what we do. We die. But we're going to die with dignity. We're going to die with honor. And we're going to keep teaching about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We don't let them fear us. We, we, don't, we don't let them, you know, put us in fear. You're supposed to have so much Holy Ghost on the inside that they fear you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. That's what this is all about. Let me tell you something. You can look at any book, any history, till the beginning to now. You see all these wars and even what we're going through now? It's about religion in the end. They hate Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They hate Christians. They hate Hebrews. Don't, 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 don't get me started because we all know. Why you think? Why you think we suffer so much? I don't like to. In heaven, there's not gonna have sections. We're all gonna be in heaven, one big family, white, black, Oriental, Mexican. Let me just go ahead and say that. But I have to be so real up on here. We all know who's the real Hebrews, and we all know who's the real Jews. And God saying some have found to be liars. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, up in here, up in here. But God said He doesn't like the way we handle death. He doesn't like the way that we're operating in this hour. He said we're not supposed to operate in anger. Anger, let, let me tell you, what they're doing, that's that anger and rage stuff. It takes a cold-hearted person to kill somebody in cold blood who's literally begging for their life. That's evil. Come on, somebody, that's evil. That's demonic. You can't be evil with evil, said the Lord. He said, vengeance is mine. We pray, and he says, when you pray, you heap coals of fire over their head. I don't know about you, but cold, the kind of coals he's talking about are spiritual coals. They burn and they last forever, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Men, women of God, let me tell you something. We're supposed to be praying. You got to pray and ask God, take that pain out my heart. Take that hate out my heart. Take all this away from me. Some of you have been in anguish. And in mourning and in grief over your loved ones. And I'm telling you what I'm talking about. Because don't, don't think that I don't get touched. Oh, come on, somebody. Because anybody can get touched. But this is what God said. God said, it's a way that I'll give you peace that surpasses all understanding. You may, you don't even understand why you'll be at peace. So that's what, that's what God had told me to get up on here and say. He said, but I used their death to get everybody's attention, Deanna. I used to, and I'm going to say the C-19 or whatever. He got your attention. He got all our attention, huh? God allowing, God is allowing the enemy. Oh, I hear you, God. Remember Pharaoh? God knew Pharaoh had a heart and heart. Oh, I'm about to preach up in here. He knows the enemy have a heart and heart. He said, but I'm going to use that heart and heart. Oh, come on, somebody, because you're going to let my people go. Are you serious? Do you understand that we win in the end? I don't care if they kill us all. We win in the end, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why they doing what they doing. Get a clue. Get a clue who's your God and how powerful he is. God said, I am the great I am. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for me, even through adversity? I know it don't feel good. I know it don't look good. Nobody wants to see death and violence and all this stuff that's happening. But you got to have a strong heart in these days. And the only way you can have a strong heart through the Lord is, is that it is given to you through the Lord. Did you catch that? You got to pray, God, strengthen me. God, keep me. And I'm going to tell you right now, we got to push back them plates. We don't have enough corporate fastings. And, and, and I get it. I get it because, and I'm going in, I'm going in. 
You know why I used to gain weight, get small, gain weight, get small? Because I don't do drugs, alcohol like I used to. For most Christians, food is a comfort food. Let's just be real. I'm just going to eat it till I feel better. Don't act like we don't. Come on. And God is saying, in this season, you got to push that plate back. In this season, you got to pray like never before. In this season, I need your obedience. In this season, I need you to be on it. In season and out of season. In this season, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This stuff real. We are in the greatest critical hour of our time. Because the line is being drawn, said the Lord. People are playing. They're still playing. They're still playing. God has given them over to a reprobate mind. They can't even hear God. And the ones that can, you're not doing what God said. Hallelujah. 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 And let me tell you something. There's no excuse because we love to give excuses. Well, I've been through this. You know, everybody got a story. Everybody got a story. But guess what? In and on that day, judgment day, you're going to still have to give account. I don't care because some of y'all don't want to do nothing. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to do nothing. And the God will hold you accountable on that day. I promise you he will. Because the book that I read don't say you get to do nothing. You have an assignment on this earth. And have you done your assignment? Well, God, it hurts. Have you done your assignment? It's inconvenient. Have you done your assignment? Y'all want to wonder why they dying out there? Because the church is not the church. Y'all fake. Oh, y'all got me heated tonight. The church is fake. Y'all got facades. Because you ain't got no real power. Because real power... Oh, I'm about to go here tonight. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. I knew you was going to do it. I've been hooking up with people lately that I wouldn't even gave. And, and listen to me very Let me Let me clarify this. The people I didn't even really much like. I'm going to be real with you. And God said, Deanna, I'm sending you to them people. Because unless you help them, they can't be right. So how are you going to just judge them, Deanna? That's why my demeanor and everything, because y'all remember about four or five years ago, I was, Rrr. God said, Deanna, uh-uh, that's not how you win. I, I, because guess what? You can, you can go to the White House and you can go to the ghetto house. Yeah, that's my anointing. I can go to the streets and talk that lingo. He said, so I need you to be versatile. And I don't need you putting up your nose up on nobody and acting like you don't like nobody. He said, because guess what? You wasn't always where you was, apostle. And it hit me to my heart. I said, God, you're right. That's the way the church do now. If they're not in your clique, you don't have nothing to do with them. Never knowing that you might be the one that baby to come here, young man. Come here, young woman. Let me talk to you. Let me love you back to life. Because that's what Jesus did. But you got a church right now that y'all too arrogant for me. Y'all arrogant. Look good, sound good, but ain't no good in you. Mm -mm. Because the foundation of God is love. And if you have not love, you are not God. You are a liar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I don't I don't even roll with people like that. Because as soon as you start showing me your true colors, I'm going to tell you about yourself. You ask anybody that know me. And I don't care. You don't have to ever talk to me again. I still love you. But I'm going to tell you, I don't roll like that. When God yanked my coat and told me that he says, I want you to treat everybody the same. From the White House, so say, to the ghetto house, to the crack house. That's still my child. Let me tell you something. Be careful who you judge. Now understand what I mean by that because there is a righteous judgment if you're wrong. But be careful because I'm sure, and I'm going here, there were a lot of people that when I was doing what I was doing, oh, she ain't no good. I used to hear it. My mom used to tell me, she ain't no good. She ain't going to be this. And I almost believed it. I say almost believed in the time I met Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because y'all sit up there and y'all throw people away. Y'all throw people away. Not look at when we just see them, right? But God looked at me and said, I, I see a servant. I see an apostle. I see an evangelist. I see a Joseph. I see a David. I see a Joshua. Who do you see, said the Lord? Because we'll look at people like, y'all know, and judge them. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just telling you what God say. And so when they go out in the world, because they don't feel comfortable in the church, and then something happens to them, then the church want to hold a funeral. Yeah, I say what I say. 
we are responsible church for a lot of funerals because y'all couldn't even welcome people and, and and i've seen it where people when they come into church y'all look at them make them feel so uncomfortable today they rather go out in the no nah, I'm, I'm gonna stay in the streets i don't want to come up in here with all this foolishness if we don't change said the lord if we don't change so all these deaths all these tragic deaths every even the young man that just recent that's to get our attention to really pray how much power do we really have because prophets that was on this earth they prayed that it didn't rain it didn't rain you mean to tell me if we really get it together God to stop these deaths. God to stop the enemy right in his tracks. He's trying to let us see who we really are. Who are you, old faithless, perverted, and powerless church, saith the Lord. That's why I ain't been doing what you want me to do. I've been letting the heathen do what they want to do until y'all get it together and come together. That's what I hear the Lord saying. There it is. Stop grieving and let God heal you and deliver you. Come on, somebody, in the most righteous way. The power of God is still real. I feel it. I'm not saying we're perfect. I promise you, as long as you're on this earth, you're going to sin and you're going to do some things. But your spirit, God said, I know that flesh is a mess, but, 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 but let me work with your spirit. Let me touch that spirit because once I one touch, one touch, one touch, said the Lord, you'll never be the same. What am I saying? They have a problem out there because we have a problem in here, church. And judgment begins in the house of the Lord. The reason why there's no power out there, because there's no power in here, said God. Hallelujah. And one person, two persons can't do it. Hallelujah. Even Moses, when God called Moses, he said, you know what? He, when they started growing, he said, you know what? You're going to have to assign elders. Ah, I just said something. Because we have a ch church that don't, this one don't want to affiliate with that one, and that one don't want to affiliate with that one, that one don't want to be with that one, and that one. And, uh, just a mess. Just a mess. And God is saying, I need y'all to come together. I need y'all to come together. Oh, uh, And by the way, that's black, white. Oh, I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. It's not even biblical, all these extra religions. Yeah, I say what I say. Baptist, where did you really get your name from? John the Baptist? Methodist, where you got your name from? Huh? Catholic? I'm about to go here. There's only one true Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his teachings. And let me tell you what the book of Revelation say. Well, no, no, I'm sorry, Galatians. If you believe in any other religion other than the the true gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's a curse upon your life. Tell me what God say. Did you know that? Did you know that if you preach any other gospel, there's a curse upon your life? People don't know that. Now y'all understand what's going on in this world. That's, most people are cursed. And God is saying, I need my church to be a church, a powerful church. How is it that 12 apostles turned this world upside down? And here we have a million Christians. We don't have a whole lot of Christians like y'all think. But let me tell y'all statistics. 800 million Islam. 760 Buddhists. 300 million atheists. We are the smallest number. And we're supposed to be the most powerful. Hallelujah! Because there's only one living God. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Ooh, I'm telling y'all right now. That hurt. I ain't gonna lie. It hurts me. It hurts me when they kill people. I don't care what color you are. It hurts me when a person is taken out like that. And I'm gonna tell y'all again, that's a hit. Just like the young man running in Georgia. If y'all think that these are not hits, you are beguiled, said the Lord. It's to put you in fear, man, woman, child. It's to put all of us in fear. But God says, keep your faith full. Hallelujah. He said, because I have overcome the world and you shall too. Don't you understand? You got to keep your faith. Hallelujah. Even through death. Hallelujah. Jesus showed us how to do it. 
Oh, hallelujah. But it's by the power of God. That's what I'm telling you. You know, um, most of you know I'm a chef, right? I'm, I'm really going back vegetarian. I'm going to tell y'all why. When I was a vegetarian, I hear God now. Don't get it twisted. But I can hear clear. I'm talking about, I'm already a radar. Trust me. And I'm not trying to be all arrogant. I like I'm all that. Trust me. Because I'm not the only one that hear God, right? Hallelujah. But I was clear. I said, I know what they're doing. Every time I eat meat, I start feeling really weird. My body, everything. And I heard the Lord said, they're putting toxins in y'all food like never before. I challenge every last one of y'all. Notice when you eat meat, how your body feel. And I'm not trying to turn you over. Yeah, you do what you want to do. All right? Pray over it. Do what you want to do. But I'm telling you, we're on a different shift. It's a different dimension going on right now. And you got to go with the flow. And God said, go with the flow. God is building up a remnant. A powerful remnant. And I feel the power of God. They may kill us. But they can't stop us. And how do I know? And I'm ending with this. Look how long ago they killed Jesus. And he's still alive. He lives, said God. Hallelujah. And he lives through you. Ha <laughs> ha. They can't kill it. They can't kill the spirit of God. That's what they've been trying to do. They've been trying to kill your spirit. They've been trying to break your spirit, said the Lord. You can't let them break your spirit. Because if you let them break your spirit, then they break your faith. And if they break your faith, they will break you. Don't you get this? Don't you get this disgruntled about this? Whatever happens, God says, He said, keep your faith full. Be strong in the Lord. But I will tell you this God don't like us being angry with each other. All this. Disarray, we're supposed to come together. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we better do it. Let me tell you a fuck off of here. Demons march together in synchronization. You'll never catch a demon coming against another demon. Hallelujah! You'll never catch it. Find, find me in scripture. I know you can't, but try. But you'll catch Christians coming against Christians. This one coming against that one. What is that telling me? <laughs> a house divided cannot stand, said the Lord. Woo! That's all God told me to say. My God. And I'm hurt so bad like y'all I know. But I'm going to do my part. I'm going to pray and I'm going to fast. And I'm going to keep on being strong in the Lord. Don't let them break your spirit, people of God. Don't let them do it. And that's what they're trying to do. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they have a short time. Devil know he's gone to the pit, him and all his little cohorts. And like I told you before, remember we win in the end. A lot more of us are going to die. What you going to do? Stop crying. Put your head up, your chest out. And understand who you serve. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot soldiers. Because that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I love you all. God bless. Oh, when you said that, Melinda, God brought something back to my spirit that I forgot to say. She said, no, it's not of God, all these religions. No. And God told me to tell y'all before I get off of here. It is not about religions. It's not about denominations. God says about salvation. God never called all these denominations. I've always considered myself non-denomination. And I still do. I am no denomination. I serve Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Please share, tag. Y'all know. And you're right. Church is divided. We better get it together, y'all. They're here and they ain't going nowhere. Don't want to let me in. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth, man, in this video. See how they do? They say, Oh, you want to talk? <laughs> wow. These people are crazy, y'all. They really are. It is not letting me in. Quote the 
Sundolo, 